G'day guys, well, bloody Sophie just went missing. Just spent half an hour trying to find her, I've just found her. Got a big smack. So I'm gonna show you something guys, we're out the rubbish dump again. I was gonna dump my rubbish, but it's dark now, so I don't have time. But anyway, I wanna show you something up here. It's beautiful, but very sad. Where are we going right now guys? It's just the entrance to the rubbish dump. And right up here And right where the entrance is guys, right next to where they buried all that oil, thousands of litres of oil. I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm not. Right in this area, fellas, is a very, very endangered species of our frog called the Western Spotted Frog. You'll hear it right now. Hear those beautiful western spotted frogs, guys. Look out, Banjo. Look out, Cindy. So, the rubbish dump's just over there, fellas. Someone's over there dumping rubbish. But just over there beyond this casuarina tree, about 15 metres in front. That's where the Shire buried, I reckon, anywhere from, uh, I'm going to estimate guys, but anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000 plus litres of oil in the ground on top of that hill straight through there. And this, and here are these beautiful frogs guys, this is like I just said before, this is called the Western Spotted Frog, one of the most endangered species of frog in the great southern of Western Australia. Guys, I'm speaking to Bernie and Yogi, um, both really nice blokes. Bernie's uh, um, works up north from the cattle stations. He's an all-rounder, so is Yogi. Yogi's a good auto electrician, doesn't want to be on film, but he does all my auto electric work for me. Have you fixed up those motors for us yet, mate? No, no, no. no, no worries. I also found some nice um, flashing lights the other day, you probably saw them. Oh, there's a heap there at the shy jumped. Any chance you could fix those? Yeah. And I'll get you some bourbon, mate. You drink bourbon, don't you? Yeah, I'm just speaking to uh, Bernie and uh, Yogi guys about these western spotted bullfrogs and how the shy dumped all this oil. It's got not, they don't, it's got enough to do with Bernie and Yogi, but I'm just doing a video on these frogs, you guys. I just lost Sophie. Did you see her before? No. No, oh, I found her. Yeah, that's why I got the spotty on, mate. And I thought I'd do a video. But no, these frogs anyway, guys, are really kind of endangered around this area. And that, see that, that noise now, the, the, I don't know what, that really high-pitched noise, that's a western spotted frog. They live in sandy soil, they don't, um, like, live in water. What happens is they wait for the, um, rain site we've had in the last few days, and they bury themselves in the ground, and their tadpoles actually um, form under the ground in a, in a little tiny bit of water but they're actually like toads they don't live in water so if you put them in like a pond they'll drown so that's why they're all croaking right now because they're, they're calling out to mates and stuff but yeah no I'm just trying to capture one on so I can show you people what they look like yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but Oh mate, they're beautiful. They're like a big toad with white spots all over them. Really beautiful, mate. Probably a um, good chance they have got hallucinogenic properties too, I reckon. No, You're seriously. Not licking them, mate. No, <laughs> but you know you can lick the cane toads. I'm pretty sure because when you touch them, they foam up with white foam. So, but this is what the Aboriginal people would have used for their quabberies and so forth, mate. Back in the old days, but it's all forgotten now. See all these Aboriginal Noongar uh, ceremonies, it's all forgotten mate, it's sad, it's not, you know, 
But anyway, I won't hold you up. Yeah, I'll go keep Yeah, going. you too, mate. Yep, and on, there's go. no rush for those motors, mate. And yeah, I'll um, bring down those flashing lights. And if you want any, mate, you can, I found a shitload. I'll, if I find one, I'll, I'll um, if I find one now, I'll come down and see and show you. And I'll just let go in my backyard. But they are beautiful, mate. So, yeah, Bernie uh, works up in the cattle stations, guys. And Yogi's like an all-rounder. Really nice bloke. Yogi's actually got um, part Aboriginal. Oh, he's actually got part Aboriginal blood in him, but he's in kind of denial which is very, very unfortunate. He has met his family, um, his mother. Um, but yeah, he's definitely got Noongar Aboriginal blood in him. But these are beautiful guys. I'll try and see if we can find one, but like I say, they're calling out right now. And those frogs calling out are probably about 500 um, millimeters underneath the ground calling out to their mates. Like I just said, the rubbish dump's just over there. There's a sign. And where you can, I don't know if you can see it, but all that metal there is where they buried probably around, I reckon, minimum 1,000 to 5,000 litres of oil in 44 gallon drums, which is absolutely disgusting. All goes into the groundwater supply. You can just see rubbish there. But that's expected, we're at the rubbish dump. And there's probably three or four different species of frogs croaking right now. The banjo frog, the um, western spotted frog, uh, the motorbike frog possibly, uh, the shoemaker frog, and also possibly the western uh, toadlet. But definitely four species of frogs I can hear right now guys. beautiful isn't it it's amazing how these frogs can survive in um, contaminated water I'll show you a video below in the link out the Lake Grace rubbish dump where this water is literally contaminated with oil poisons and that um, rubbish dump hole is literally covered in thousands of tadpoles so it's amazing how these frogs can still survive in um, contaminated water but like I say, guys, the oil, the shy dumped, eventually that will go down into the uh, water table. Highly illegal because that oil was supposed to be picked up and recycled for biodiesel and stuff. And I, as far as I'm aware, the Shire got one of their workers in a big front end loader and picked it all up in a front end loader and buried it in the actual hole on top of a hill and the water supply for the main dam or drinking dam for Dumbleyung. It's two kilometres below the bottom of this hill where I am right now. So I'll get out, guys. I can't go, go any further because my spotlight's only got a certain length. But I'll, when we turn around, we'll get out and have another look. So we'll drive into the dump, do a U-turn, and we'll see if we can see any. All these frogs in here, guys, like I said, most of them are calling out for their mates underneath the ground. And like I said, these white western spotted frogs, they're not, they're actually like toads, they don't live in water, they rely on this water 
what seeps down into the soil, into their little burrows, and that's how they arm their tadpoles are born. So the tadpoles turn into little frogs in this muddy water, just a tiny bit of muddy water, fellas. And then the tadpoles eventually crawl out of the holes and then go and make new holes. And that's when they start calling out like this. So there's thousands of tab, uh, frogs right here right now, fellas, but you can't see any. Because they're all, if not most of them, are underneath the ground. And just see how loud it is. It's beautiful. Oh, I saw one. I saw a frog, guys. We'll see if we can catch one. I haven't got my net here at the moment. Got a bit of an extension, guys. We'll go over here and have a look. Bet you any money underneath that piece of tin right there, there'd be probably a frog. <laughs> Too heavy to lift. I can see tadpoles. Yup, just there. Uh, There's one there guys, that's a motorbike frog. But you can see it there guys. And there's heaps of baby tadpoles. Water spiders. So what we'll do fellas when this water dries out in the next month or so we'll do the same as what we did with my tadpole rescue mission we'll bury some buckets in the ground and we'll rescue some babies like right now I can just see heaps of baby or heaps of tadpoles baby ones coming up for coming up to the surface for air and there's a frog there look at that oh that's a look at that guys that is a western I'll try and catch it. There it is. Yes! I got it. Woo! Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is a western spotted frog. You bloody beauty, guys. Look at the size of it. That is beautiful. So I'm going to take that now and I'll show Yogi. That is beautiful, guys. Yeah, that's what you call beautiful nature, guys. Even in a contaminated rubbish dump like this. And look how it's all puffed up. That's a massive, rare, western spotted frog. There it is. Yes! I got it. Woo! That is a western spotted frog. You bloody beauty, guys. Look at the size of it. That is beautiful. So I'm going to take that now and I'll show Yogi. Well guys, that is what you call awesome. And that's what I live for, stuff like that. Just catching a rare species of the frog, just like that guys. Nice little endangered western spotted frog. Beautiful. That's the type of stuff that makes me happy and gives me some form of content in my life guys not to mention all the other thousands of other beautiful reasons for living all right well
we'll go and show Yogi guys and see what he says. So this is it, Yogi. Wow. It's huge. It's pretty it's big, big, isn't it? What? No. They puff up when they're kind of little threatened. Yeah. But yeah. So very I mean they used when I was a kid mate, these were everywhere but because of all the salt. Yeah, the salt kills them. Don't yeah. It? But yeah, it's a beautiful looking frog, so I I will you know, I take it back out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh I might even just let it go in my backyard. So that's it guys. First one Yogi's ever seen. Mm. Do you come from the Great Southern area? Nah, no mate. I'm Fremantle boy. Oh Fremantle. Don't have frogs like that. We used to no. chase tadpoles but they're only little ones. Yeah. Anyway. That's what they yeah, they're beautiful aren't they? Yeah. So I'm just showing Bernie, what do you think of that that one mate? Yeah, nice, aren't they? Big ones. Beautiful. Yep. When I was a kid there used to be thousands of these around everywhere but because of the, all the salt, I just told Yogi. Yep. They're dying out. Dying out. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. Pretty. They are. All right, mate. I'll catch you later. Right here, fellas, is a. A uh, motorbike frog or a banjo frog? Right there. Amongst all the rubbish.